Hey, it's MK and I am back with another September 2022 and today's prompt is the wood veneer. I am so excited about this prompt. So I'm going to do a double page layout for you guys today and what I have is just my photos laid out uh, how I want them on both sides of my pages, right? So these five on one side and then the other three on the right side. Now for... Um, <laughs> oh, for my stamping, I plan on using a uh, ground espresso because it lives on my desk and this broken grid. And then for my wood veneer, I was going to use stickles in nebula and then that, uh, I can't even say it you guys, but it's the stencil stardust stuff from the crafters workshop. Now for my wood veneer, I have a whole bunch of broken pieces that I just could not I, I couldn't bear to throw away. Um, they're still good usable pieces, but I really wanted to show, um, you know, show you how to adapt and improvise. I also have some off cuts that were an accident, um, not supposed to happen. Uh, a couple labels that I was supposed to use a couple days ago and didn't happen. <laughs> It's just the story of my life these days. And then from the Anywhere collection uh, by 49 and Market, I have this fragment paper, but I'm definitely going to use this brown side over here. And then from a Halloween paper stack, I love this craft paper, you guys. I have to tell you, I probably only spent $5 on this Halloween craft paper, and I love this craft paper rather than the Halloween side. So I'm going to use two for my base, but then the um, for my photo mats, I'm actually going to use the printed side because if you look, it's got this really pretty almost opaque detail or um, transparent detail. I don't know the difference. I apologize. Uh, but I have to tell you guys, again, I, I stick with some words and they just never go away. Seriously, I'm sorry. Um, but by the time I put my photos down, you're, you're not even going to see all that pretty little markings on on this craft paper. So I don't even know why I bothered. But the, uh, the idea was there. <laughs> I made it happen. So I'm cutting um, the craft paper down six inches. And then, of course, I'm going to cut down the four inch. But I wanted more of the black um, streaks to show rather than... Um, just the craft and so that's why I cut it down to six inches and then cut my four inch down um, on the other side that way it looks like um, it's already I don't know um, inked yes that's the word I was thinking of but I'm going to ink my edges anyways with the ground espresso again it lives on my desk so I'm going to go ahead and ink up all of these photo mats then I'm going to go and cut down all my photos and glue them down. So I went ahead and just did that without boring you guys to death because it's the same old, same old stuff. Now I'm going to move on to the uh, slight mixed media portion of this. Now there's not a whole lot to do because I really liked how this, um, I don't know, almost like a tea stain paper looked, but I wanted to add a little bit more to it because I knew that all, I, all I'm doing seriously is adding some paper and wood veneer. There is not a whole lot going on on this layout because I really wanted the photos to tell the story. Um, plus, I also have an insert for this particular layout that will also be telling a story. So um, it's going to be in my little insert in between the two uh, 12 by 12 pages. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and stamp my grid down and the grid is just to add a very slight pattern. I am not looking for full coverage. I'm not looking for perfection. I am not looking for anything. I'm just looking for a random messy grid. I'm not even using a block because I don't care if I get the full thing. Um, I don't care if it's perfect. Nothing, honestly. Um, and then I'm taking my nebula uh, um, stickles glitter gel and just scraping it all in random spots over the where I stamped I'm not um, I'm not looking for full coverage yet again I'm just sprinkle sprinkle scrape scrape and be done that's it uh, no more after that because after I, I just I have no idea <laughs> you know where I'm going with this I'm just trying to clean off my uh, my spatula before um 
I put it away and now I'm going to work on my wood pieces. Now for the wood two, the two larger wood pieces, I'm actually going to cut them apart. They cut out so super easy with the serrated edge scissors by Tim Holtz. I've never tried an actual, you know, like a regular pair of scissors, but I think the serrated acts like a saw and gets in there and, and chops them up pretty nice. I did have to go in there and cut a little bit more um, and kind of chop away at it. And finally I went out and got a file to make it look a little bit more finished rather than choppy. Uh, went ahead and off camera and finished how I wanted to break apart all the rest of them. And now what I'm doing is taking that um, uh, stardust butter from the crafters workshop and just coloring all of them in this beautiful black and silver-ish look. I, I really like this color a lot. Um, I do go back and um, color in a little bit um, more of, you know, like I put in one layer and then I go back and put in a little bit more only because of the fact that I really wanted it to be a solid full coverage. I didn't want any of the, um, of the wood grain to show through. Now I also put this on uber super speed because watching me do this on every single piece got a little interesting and not in the good way. It was, it was just boring. That. I'll admit it. It's just boring. But some people like to see this stuff. Uh, and so I, I just left it in. Now, the photos that I am scrapbooking, I know you don't get to see them very often because once all the mixed media is done, um, which technically this is called mixed media because I'm using product. I, I don't know. I'm painting my wood veneer. That's, that's all I did. So I don't know if it's mixed media or not. Um, but these are photos of a penitentiary in Rawlings, Wyoming. Now, I don't know if anybody here has been to Rollins, Rollins, not Rawlings, Rollins, Wyoming, but it's, it's a pretty scary place. And the only reason why I say that is because we showed up in town. We were supposed to meet a, uh, a friend of ours. He borrowed our trailer to move to North Carolina, or I apologize, North Dakota, um, borrowed our trailer, and then we were going to meet him halfway to pick it back up. Uh, this was the halfway point and we strolled into town and we we're like, well, we've got about an hour there. They're in Casper um, or somewhere. No, they hadn't quite reached. They were about an hour away from Casper is what they were telling us or they were close to Casper somewhere in there. Um, I just know the word Casper was in that conversation somewhere. Um, and anyways, uh, so we had a, uh, we had a couple hours to kill and we were driving down all the streets and this dead ends at one of the streets, this penitentiary. And we're like, oh my God, that's like the best thing in this whole town, right? Because there was nothing in this town. There wasn't children playing in the streets. There was, the parks were empty. There was nothing going on in this town. And it was kind of on the creepy side. And it's like, you know, we were starting to wonder if Freddy Krueger lived in this town because it was starting to freak me out. Like I, seriously have never seen a, a more ghost-like town that's supposed to be a town. It, it just was really weird. And then we, of course, came across this, um, this penitentiary and I was like, oh my gosh, let's go see if we can get a tour of it. Well, it's only open uh, Monday through Thursday. And of course, this was a Saturday. So uh, no, don't get a tour. But I certainly took a ton of photos of it. I definitely have a plaque that is going to go in on a flip flap in the center of the uh, on top of the center photo on the left page. Let me find my words real quick. Um, so that is where my um, my my flip flap is going to go. And unfortunately, I already put the layout away. That is what I do. It's how I roll. Um, or I would definitely read what that plaque said because of the fact that it was super cool information. It, um, it basically was in operation until the 80s. And then they finally condemned it because it just needed, um, you know, to be rebuilt in all different ways. So um, it, it became un uninhabitable um, in the early 90s. Uh, afterwards, because after after that, they started using it for something I can't remember uh, to be exact, but it it had that creepy haunting feel 
to it. You can just, you can get the vibe. I, I don't know if, if anybody's into that or not, but you guys, as soon as we walked up to see when the hours of operation were available, you got that vibe. You all have hair standing on the end, you know, that the nap of your neck type of vibe, goosebumps all over. Um, it just had that mood and feel. And so, of course, we drove all the way around um, the block to try and see uh, like they had a watchtower over there um, and you can kind of see in the yard and all that. I mean, it just the neatest stuff ever. And we were we were just super stoked that we found something like this. And then, of course, it does say that if you want to see, um, you know, like they have uh, one of the gel cells at the museum and, and other types of things from within that they took out. Uh, so you can go visit those at any time rather than just walking through the whole building. And so we went to the museum um, shortly after I, I snapped a few hundred photos of this penitentiary. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'm brave enough to actually go back and go inside. It's not that the building scared me. It was that the town scared me. Uh, it was creepy. I, I'm not going to lie. The whole town was creepy. And when my friends finally showed up, or actually they were my husband's friends, our friends, um, when they finally showed up, they were like, why in the world would you want to meet here? Like we could have drove up another, I think it was 35 to 40 minutes up to Casper and been up there into like a real town. There was no cell service in this town. There was no, it was like you are excluded from the entire everything, like the world. Um, you're in a bubble in this town. And I guess um, the workers, uh, you know, the people that actually live in town work on the railroad. And um, so I don't know if that requires them kind of like flight attendants where they're home one minute and gone the next type of deal. I don't know. It creeps Phil. Creeps Phil entirely. And to be honest, I have to tell you this because I didn't take any pictures. The only children that we saw in this town were working at the local pub where we had dinner. Yes, I'm not going to kid. That is where that is the only place. And of course, that's what brought the conversation on. And we started talking about it with our friends and making a big old joke about it. And, and everybody thought that we were just, you know, had one too many, which we just got there. There was no one too many. Um, <laughs> but it was an interesting town, you guys. It really was. Uh, the museum was am amazing. I have loads of pictures to share with you guys on the museum. And of course, more pictures of the um, penitentiary that we didn't actually get to go in and see. All right. So for my little enamel dots, I am just putting these uh, uh, mistakes. Um, in, they were, they're just little squares and they were absolute mistakes. Um, but I couldn't, I couldn't throw them away. They were, they're perfect and they make perfect enamel dots. Um, even though they're made out of wood and not enamel, uh, but they do. They make perfect sequins, perfect little things. And so I definitely wanted to add them to my page. And with the stars and the wood grain and the squares and the labels, I felt like that was it. I don't need anything. I'm not going to put a title on it because once I put my flip flap on the center photo in the left page, it's going to have a title. It's actually going to say that it is the something something penitentiary. Um, I cannot even remember the name of it, you guys. I feel super bad. Normally I'm better at this. Uh, but yes, I definitely um, am impressed with this beautiful building. It, it is beautiful, but it definitely has a history to it because I felt it. <laughs> Not that I'm psychic or anything like that, but definitely. And I had a blast um, creating these layouts. I really, really did. Um, I do look forward to uh, knowing more about the history of this and maybe one of these days. Uh, I think we did talk about going back and, and checking this out on our way up to uh, Mount Rushmore. So I will let you know and keep you guys informed if I ever do that um, because I am very, very interested and I know my children would be interested as well. Um, but the museum is another story for another time. Trust me. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really, really, truly appreciate it. Be sure to check out um, <laughs> Scrap Timber 2022's playlist and all of the wonderful creators. You guys, that list is a mile long. I am so impressed 
with everybody on that list and how many people have been working hard at making a video a day. That's not me. Um, but yes, it is awesome. And I'm just, I'm so impressed with all of these cool little prompts and where everybody has gone with it. I, I love that, you guys. Love it. And be sure to check out the Facebook group where um, the, the non-video creators are still creating a way and that, oh, the, the, what's it called? I don't even know what it's called. The album is fantabulous, you guys. The album is so big, over 500 photos in that um, album of, of pictures and prompts and layouts and just beautiful. And I, I absolutely love it. All right. Thank you so much again. And I will check y'all later. Bye.